Hi viewers, Kawans. Welcome to this channel and <coughs> I think a subscriber made <coughs> a comment which has gingered me to go back and teach something like the formation of the courts. So I'm going to teach how the major court are being formed, the minor courts are being formed, the diminished courts are being formed, the dominant seventh court are being formed, the half diminished courts are being formed, and the full diminished court are being formed. So this course is all about formation of the court. A, 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 a subscriber did, he was right, he was right. He understood what I thought clearly. So he wanted to confirm if with his own knowledge and his own understanding. Like I always say, music is all about you understanding it your way. I'm a music student. I'm a music student, yes. I'm in the university studying music, yeah. And this stuffs or music is all about you understanding it in your own way. So that's the re that's what I do, and it has helped me teach others music, yes, because I understand it in my own way. You can go through my videos if you are new to this channel and watch my videos clearly. Like, I try explaining it to the understanding of everyone. So, today's lesson is going to be on formation of the chords. So, I'm going to teach how the major chords are formed, how the minor chords are formed. So, I'm going to take the note. I'm going to do all in the note of C. I'm going to do it in the key of C, on this note, on the note C. So how do we build a chord, a major chord? So a major chord is actually built with one, three, five. So if you, I'm in the key of C, yes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And I'll be, I, I, I'm going to mix a tonic surface. When you say tonic surface, tonic surface are the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. I'm going to mix it because people also understand it clearly using the tonic surface. And others to understand it clearly using the C, D, E, F, G. So I'm going to use both in this lessons. So, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That's my key C. So, using the C, D, E, F. And using your one, two, three, using your doing reverse solati do, using your tonic surface, E, G, E, C, E, G is a major triad. That's the major triad. One, three, five is the major triad. Do, mi, so is a major triad. So I hope everyone can get his or her part in that. So do mi so is a major triad. So this is a major triad. How do we form a minor? We now know a major as one three five. A minor is formed with one flat three and five. So this becomes C minor. So this is a C major. When I move a semitone backwards, it becomes a minor of the third degree. Becomes a minor. So if this is my major, this becomes my minor. So a major, when I flat the third, it becomes a minor. When I flat, it becomes a minor minor triad. When I flat the third, sorry, when I flat the fifth, it becomes a diminished chord. So this is a C major. This is a C major. When I flat the third, it becomes a C minor. And when I flat the fifth, it becomes a C diminished what, chord. Understanding this way. So that's it. I'm going to add what we call the seventh, the ninth, the thirteenth, the fifth, whatever. I'm going to add it to this lesson too. So this is how the major chord is being formed. Major one three five. Minor one flat three flat five. Sorry, minor one flat three five. Diminish one flat three flat five. This is a diminished chord. No, now let's advance this three chords I spoke about. So we are through these three chords, we are going to do our major seventh chord in it. We are going to do our minor seventh chord in it. We are going to do our diminished, half diminished and full diminished. Or diminished seventh. So if this is my major seventh, this is my major. When you talk about the seventh, the seventh means let's count from our C. Let's use our doing fasolati do. 
Let's use our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 7 becomes the B. The 7 is the B. And the 7, when it comes to the tonic surface, the 7 is the T. So when I played Do, Mi, So, T, it means I have played a major 7th chord. Do, Mi, So, T means I have played a major 7th chord. C, E, G, and the B. It means I've played a major seventh chord. Now we know a major chord. When I add the B to it, it becomes major seventh. When I add the T, I mean it becomes a major seventh chord. The T is the same as the B. I just want people to understand it very clearly. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I add my seventh, it becomes a major seventh chord. So this is a minor seventh. This is a minor. Flat three, flat five. Hey. 1 flat 3 5 is a minor chord right it's a minor chord so this minor chord when i flat the seventh okay before i teach this minor chord we know our major right major seventh this is our major seventh it's by adding the b to it so if i flatten the b of this major seventh it gives me a dominant seventh chord it gives me a dominant seventh chord so a dominant seventh chord means in adoring fast it means i'm playing do me so adding my thought to it it gives me a dominant seventh chord but if i add my t to it it gives me if i add my t to get two t to the do me do me so it gives me a major seventh chord if i add my thought it gives me a dominant seventh chord. So let me move to the minor. So the minor is being built with one flat three five. So when I add this tall to the minor, it gives it, it gives me a minor seventh chord. So it's like the major seventh, and this is the minor flat the seventh. It gives me a minor seventh chord. So in minor seventh is mi, e, do, do, mo, so, to. It's a minor seventh chord. Now let's come to a, dim, a, a diminish. A diminish chord is one flat three flat five. One flat three flat five. So if I add this to tall to it it gives me a half diminished chord we have two types of diminished we have the full diminished and we have the half di diminished the full diminished is also known as the diminished seventh chord understand it this way it means the diminished seventh chord is also known as full diminished so if i play my diminished chord is when i add my thought to it it means i'm playing a half diminished I'm playing a half diminished. So when I flat this this tour again, when I flat this tour to la, it's giving me a full diminished chord. So when I play this, it's a full diminished chord. And when I play this, it's a half diminished chord. So this is all about our major triads and whatever that we need to know about formation of the chords. So one, when I play this, it's a half diminished. When I add this, it's a... So meaning when I play my diminished triad and I add my la to it, meaning I'm playing a full diminished or a diminished seventh chord. So in other books, you see the diminished as one flat, three flat, five, double flat. One flat, three flat, five, double flat, seven. So the double flat seventh means this is the seventh flat one flat two so double flat seventh so it's all is the la adding the la to your diminished triad it gives you a full diminished or diminished seventh but when we just flat the seventh with our diminished triad it's called the half diminished so when you flat our diminished with the tall it means we are playing a half diminished but when you bring it to the la it means we are playing a full diminished I hope it's clear. 
So now let me come to this something we call 9th, 13th, 7th chord, 7th, 8th, 9th. We now know of our 7th. So what becomes our 8th? Our 8th is uh, uh, sometimes called the octave. So what becomes our 9th? The re becomes our 9th. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and back to an octave, 15th. So let's take it that way. So you hear something like, at at ninth, at sixth, at seventh, at eighth, at thirteenth, at it's not. Don't be scared. It's not scary. They are just adding the tonic surface to it, and you'll be hearing something like flat five, flat six, flat. It's all about you knowing how to apply these flats and how to invert them. Inversion of this flat five, at five, and other stuff. So this is my C. I told you when I add the T to it, it becomes what a major, major what seventh. When I add the Do to it, it becomes an octave. I've added the octave to it. When I add, so if this counting out the Fasola T, let's take it to a, a, a third octave using one, two, three numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you are representing our Dorum Fasola Tido with numbers. So the Do becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if this is my Do Mi So, and I'm told to add the seventh, this becomes the seventh. When I'm told to add the eighth, this becomes the eighth. When I'm told to add the ninth, so you'll be hearing something like at ninth, at 7th, at 9th, at 13th. It's simple. They are just adding the Re, Mi. They are just repeating the Re, Mi. So I can say C major. When I add the Re to it, something like this. C major. When I add the Re to it, meaning I've added the ninth. So I can say C major at ninth. So what was what the ninth? After the 8th is the Re. This becomes the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. So C, C major at 13th can be played this way. So you someone will play this and can tell you C major at 13th and you'll be scared. Or they'll mention play C major at 13th and you'll be fumbling with it. So C major at 13th is like this. Adding the C to it gives you the C major at 13th. So it's nothing scary with the formation of the chords. So these are the formation of the chords. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Please do well to go through my uploaded videos and watch the application of this major seventh and the minor and whatever chords. I'll, I'll, I'll make lessons on how to use the other, other chords. So kindly stay safe and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comment, you can comment and I reply. I'm not like the others who won't reply. I will reply and explain things to you very clearly. If you don't understand, I know what I'm teaching. I don't just teach. I have, I ha I have experience when it comes to teaching. I have experience. Yeah. With the music stuff, I have experience. Yeah. And I know what... And I know how to make things simple to people's understanding. Somebody can't explain this something like I've explained it to you. So kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel. And tell people to subscribe too. Please. And let's make here while the sun shines. Bye-bye. So I'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section. Bye.